Now let's install an invisible shield on a brand new Apple Video iPod. Always remember to choose a clean environment free of dirt and dust before beginning your installation. Make sure your hands are clean, especially your fingertips. Before beginning the actual installation, make sure you have everything you need on hand. The application solution, a lint-free cloth, and a stiff plastic card. A credit card will work great. First, you'll want to take out the individual pieces that make up your invisible shield so that you understand how they will line up and be applied to your iPod. Remember to turn your iPod off and switch the hold button to hold so that the orange is showing. You are now ready to begin the installation of your invisible shield. To begin, spray your fingertips with the special application solution. When there are multiple pieces that make up your invisible shield, start with the smallest pieces first. Take the center protector and peel the invisible shield off the white paper backing. Spray it lightly with a special solution and place it on your iPod. Use your plastic card to push any excess moisture and bubbles out. Now follow the exact same steps with the click wheel piece of your invisible shield. Use your plastic credit card to work the bubbles and excess solution out towards the nearest edge. Make sure to wipe the click wheel area clean with your lint free cloth. While doing this, inspect for any bubbles or alignment errors. Now for the front piece. Make sure your fingertips are moist with the solution. Then peel it off the white paper backing and place it in the palm of your hand. Adhesive side out. Spray the invisible shield with the special solution, then flip it over and spray the other side as well. Next, place it and correctly align it on your iPod. If misaligned, pick up the shield right away, respray, and then reapply. Beginning in the center of the shield, use your credit card to push the excess solution to one side and then again to the other side. Work your way down the invisible shield and around the click wheel. Again, make sure you are pushing toward the nearest edge. Examine the installation thus far by wiping the invisible shield off with your cloth, all the while checking for misalignment and bubbles. If you find bubbles, don't fret, but now is the time to take care of them while your invisible shield is still moist. Simply find a corner nearest the bubble, lift the shield back to the bubble, respray the shield on both sides, and set it back down. Use your credit card to push the bubble and solution back out. Keep in mind that your invisible shield will look even better after it has a chance to set. Once the front is complete, you are ready for the back side. Turn your iPod over and wipe the metal down with your microfiber cloth to ensure that all fingerprints and smudges are off. 
peel off the back piece of the invisible shield off its white paper backing and prepare it for installation by spraying both sides. Place the adhesive side down on the iPod, then accurately align your shield by making sure all pieces will end up in the correct place. After your alignment is set, begin in the middle of the shield and push the bubbles and excess moisture to one side using your plastic card. You may want to lightly spray the top of the shield again. This will aid you in smoothly pushing out the bubbles. Next, wipe your shield off with your lint-free cloth and inspect the shield for any missed bubbles or alignment issues. If you notice a problem area, take care of it right away, but keep in mind that many smaller bubbles and imperfections will naturally go away over the 24-hour setting period. Once the main back area looks good, roll the side pieces over the edge with your fingers. Make sure to cover both sides. Don't worry about the corner flaps just yet. Because they are moist, they will not stay down right away. So set the iPod down and let it sit for two minutes. This allows the adhesive to dry and become tacky. Once ready, roll the flaps down with your fingers. If you notice any part of the shield around the corners of the iPod that does not want to stay down, press the iPod into the palm of your hand for 30 to 60 seconds. This helps mold the invisible shield to the corner. If necessary, repeat this step on all four corners. That's it! You're finished installing your invisible shield. Now just place your device aside for 24 hours while your protective shield sets in. Finally, take comfort in knowing you have protected your iPod without compromising functionality and design.